All right, now I'm going to talk about how lone pairs affect the geometry around an atom. So when lone pairs start getting involved, we have two different types of geometry. We have electron geometry, which is the arrangement of electron groups around an atom. And then we have molecular geometry, which is the arrangement of other atoms around that central atom. The difference between electron geometry and molecular geometry is that electron geometry includes the lone pairs while molecular geometry excludes the lone pairs. So the lone pairs, they still influence the overall geometry, but when we name the shape of a molecule, we usually leave out the lone pairs as if they're not there. So as an example, uh, suppose you have a central atom A which has three electron groups around it. Now we've already established that these three electron groups are going to form a trigonal planar shape. So in other words, the electron geometry is trigonal planar. And if none of these electron groups are lone pairs, then that means the molecular geometry is going to be the same thing as the electron geometry, which is trigonal planar. However, if one of those electron groups happens to be a lone pair, that gives rise to a molecular geometry that we call bent. So the, the approximate angle between these two atoms then would be would still be that trigonal planar angle of 120 degrees. So now let's look at uh, four electron groups with lone pairs. So remember that if we have four electron groups around an atom and they space themselves out as far apart from one another as possible, then we will get a tetrahedral electron geometry. The electron geometry, we call that tetrahedral. If none of these electron groups are lone pairs, then the molecular geometry is going to be the same thing, which would be which would also be tetrahedral. And now here's where it gets interesting. Uh, what if we have one lone pair and three atoms? What does that look like? Well, the electron geometry, that is going to stay the same no matter what. As long as we have four electron groups, that's always going to be tetrahedral. But if one of those groups is a lone pair, we now have uh, a situation in which this shape is called, this molecular geometry is called trigonal pyramidal. And the bond angle between these two atoms would still be the tetrahedral value approximately, which is 109.5 degrees. What if we have two lone pairs? So what if we have two bonds to atoms and then two lone pairs? Well, the electron geometry is still going to be tetrahedral, but if I stick another lone pair on there, then that'll give rise to another bent geometry. Although different from the bent geometry that we saw with three electron pairs because the bond angle is going to be 109.5 instead of 120. So this is also Bent. So I think this is a good place to stop and uh, in the next video I'm going to go over five electron groups with lone pairs and I'm also going to go over six electron groups with lone pairs. So alright, stay tuned.